we have created this register form now the next thing we need to do is when this sub form is submitted we need to work on this handle submit function so basically this function should be sending an um, email uh, with a link so that the user can click on that link to verify the email address before we save the user um, in the database and in fibers all right so i can quickly show you the documentation as well fibers auth uh, sign an email you can search for that let's go to the docs and you can see they have um, example code and this is for ios android we have for web as well so using this method fibers auth of send sign in link to email using this function we can send the user an email we will also use another package uh, to show the toast notification because when the email has been sent we need to inform the user that hey uh, the email ha uh, link has been sent to your email please go and take your email all right for that kind of toast notification we will use another npm package called react toastify you can search for that react toastify we'll be using this as well all right so let's uh, grab this and um, install me install this one so npm install react toastify all right while that's happening let's import fibers auth so here import auth i guess so the way i have import uh, export you can see here in the fibers you can see this is not a default export we have multiple export so export const auth export const google auth provider so when you have exported each function with a variable name like so you import like this with the destructuring if it was default export then you could just do that all right so import auth from firebase so that is one step up two step up next we can import the toast notification this package so import toast this is the one we will be using to show the toast notification and for this toast notification to work we need uh, the toast container component as well toast container you can also see this in the docs from react toastify and we also need to bring in the css so all this package has been all the packages we install they are here in the node module so you can see here and from here we can manually uh, sometimes um, import css when we need to so let's do that import so react toastify okay, so you can see here when i'm importing from the node modules i don't need to give it a path name like so by default it will look in the node modules folder so react toastify slash dist slash react with capital r react toastify.css all right so we got the auth we got the toast um, components here as well now let's come down here let's work on the handle submit let me start the server hide this one so here in the handle submit this is the event handler we get the event so first thing we want to do is event prevent default we will be using this many times in our uh, event handlers so this is basically to prevent the browser from reload right if you don't have this when the button is clicked the form elements is submitted the browser will reload the page by default so we want to prevent that we don't need to reload the page right so let's prevent default now we need um, a config object which will have the url so when the user uh, submit this link i'm uh, sorry submit this form we will send them the link when they click on that link where they should land they will not land on the same page right so when they submit this form we need to take them to some other page where they can complete their registration which means they will enter the password and they're done right so we need to um, create another page but for the moment before we create we can just write it down here so let's create this config object which will be used uh, 
to create that link by Firebase. Okay, so const config equals to in this object we will have URL and we will have handle code code in app and that is true so this is uh, directly from the documentation you can see here so handle code in app true this must be true because um, if user is trying to log in from this device from this computer this is where uh, we will be saving this email in the local story so they can't um, register from one device and try to log in from finish the registration from another device which makes sense all right so handle code app true the url is going to be let's hard code for now later we will move to the env file so http colon slash slash localhost 3000 that's where our app is running this is where they are at the moment but when they submit we will create another page called let's say complete um, register complete okay we need to create this page very soon at the moment let's leave it okay so that's our configuration which will be used to, in the email link that we will be sending all right so next we can use the uh, send sign in link to email that method from firebase but before we do that let's make this async async await all right so we want to await for the firebase auth method that we have imported we use the method called send sign in link to email and we need to pass uh, some prop uh, the we need to pass some what do you call it, parameters so first one is the email where we want to send the email right so this whatever user has typed in as his email address so that's where we're going to send this um, email and then this is the one that will be used so config all right so once that happens we should um, be able to show the toast notification to user toast success and let's use backticks this is right below the escape tab in your keyboard it's not quotes it's backticks in backticks we can embed variables right so let's say email is sent to let's show the user's email email click the link to complete your registration all right so once we send um, use this method to send an um, email we can show the stores notification to user not only that we will also save the user's email in the local storage save user email in local storage this is because when they land in the space once they click on their email they will land in this space so in this space we don't want to again ask user to enter the same email that that could be annoying right so we just uh, pull it out from the local storage so user just uh, fill in the password and he's done he can register all right so window to so local host uh, sorry local storage is a property of the window object so window dot local storage dot set item so if you want to save anything you use set item in the local storage whenever you want to get something you use get item so you can see it's quite easy to remember set item and get item to set item you give the key by what name you want to save the item so we can give it a name email for registration so you can see it's a camel case make sure you have no typos here so this is the key email for registration and the value is the email right so this way user's email will be saved in the local stories so once we do that once user submits uh, the button the existing value we want to um, remove right so if they have something like this the email address we want to clear that out and make it empty for that to clear the state we can use set email again and then this time it's just empty all right so this is our handle submit function now this should 
send the user an email with a link to click. When they click, they will be landing on this page to complete the registration. Okay, so this way we can verify that this user actually using the real email to register into our application. So let's give this a try. And then in the next lecture, we can create this space. All right. So make sure to use the valid email address. Let me use GraphQL React Node at gmail.com. Okay, we got some error here. The given sign-in provider is disabled for this. Uh, all right, so that's one step we forgot earlier. So let's go back to Fibers. Okay, so previously we just got the key and we forgot about doing the rest. Let's continue to console. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go to the authentication. And we have the sign-in methods here, click here. And you can see all of them are by default they are disabled so we need to enable email and password so let's enable that enable email link password assign that's email all right let's save and later we're going to uh, enable login with google as well and feel free to add more uh, login options like facebook and twitter you just have to create a facebook app and then you can just um, give uh, pass the ID, app ID, and that's pretty simple. All right, so let's continue with Google. Google is straightforward. We don't have to do anything. So let's enable this one. Project support email. You can give it your um, email address, the one that is used to create this project, and done. Save. Okay, let me here one more time if you later add more than one domain maybe in production you might have to add the domain here client IDs but at the moment let's leave it if we need to do it we will do it later all right so the, yeah you can add uh, domain here localhost is there by default okay that looks good all right now that we have enabled let's give it a try at gmail.com okay we didn't get any um, notification or anything let's go to the network tab now network tab you will see all these options here right so you can uh, you can click on the last option you can see here uh, it has this request has been made to google we got this response as well so looks like it has been sent um come back here okay so what happened is we forgot to use the toast container so unless you have the toast container in the body of this um, down here in the return statement here unless you have that you don't see the notification so let's put it maybe right here I'm going to move it to a separate component very soon but at the moment let's just leave it here okay so make sure you have the toast container otherwise you don't see the toast notification I okay, come here let's try one more time All right, let's try. Okay, so we can see the toast notifications. Eh? Um, email has been sent to the email address. Click the link to complete your registration. That's great, right? Now let's see if we actually got the email. Okay, looks like we got it. You can see here. Right now, we got the link okay so hello we received a request to sign into this project using this email address if you want to sign in um, use this link right so sign into project so obviously you can uh, change the name as well but we will cover this bit later all right click here and like i told you earlier we have the register slash complete slash and then there is the fibers api key so that means it's all working good it's going on the right direction so what we need to do in the next lecture is create this page register complete where we can grab the user's email from local stories ask them to enter the password and then again um, 
complete the process so that the user has not just the email but the password and is saved in the uh, Firebase. All right, let's continue.